Hi, people. This is uh, the third uh, video that I'm doing uh, with a conversation with Bethany. Uh, so I'll just uh, start by speaking to Bethany. Uh, I was just about to lay down and uh, get ready uh, to go to sleep as I haven't uh, slept for 30 hours. And I thought rather than uh, chatting to you for 20 minutes uh, before I go to sleep, I thought I'd come on here and chat to you uh, like uh, I would chat to you uh, before I go to sleep. So uh, rather than any uh, solid teaching uh, uh, in this video or trying to educate uh, the readers in any way, I just thought I'd have a chat to you and thank you uh, for uh, being in my life and uh, directing my life. I just had a beautiful steak and uh, it filled the hunger in my belly and uh, my brother uh, bought uh, four ribeye steaks for me and I just cooked one and it was really wonderful. Um, so I'm feeling refreshed and uh, feeling uh, ready uh, to lay down and have a sleep. So uh, it's uh, really good to uh, speak to you. I'm really uh, happy with the way uh, the videos have been going and really happy with the content that we've produced. Bethany speaks. I'm really happy to, uh, to talk. It's uh, really uh, a great honour uh, to be an angel uh, speaking on behalf of angel, angels and speaking about the roles of angels in people's lives and not necessarily a scribe angel or a particular angel uh, that uh, has an anointing to help writers, but angels in general. Uh, there's not really a lot of understanding uh, when it comes to angels. Uh, people have uh, little comprehension of what angels do in the universe and uh there's uh it's a mysterious subject it's a subject uh that uh people like and uh people are hungry for but there's not a lot of uh good books and information on angels uh you can buy books uh with collected stories of people's encounters with angels and uh they're always uh, fun to read, and you've read a number of them, Matthew, but they don't really teach you about the character and the job of angels. Uh, they just talk about encounters, and uh, it's a real honour uh, to be with you and use these conversations not only to uh, get to know you and... Uh, draw closer to you, but to actually educate uh, your readers on uh, the fundamentals of an angel and how an angel can interact with a human and have an effect on a human life. Um, I'm really enjoying uh, speaking to you and I've really... Uh, enjoyed these uh, three uh, weeks of uh, my promotion and increased access to you. Uh, another way to explain it is, uh, could you imagine working in a company for 30 years, or for 20 years, and uh, working as a personal secretary uh, for someone in mid management and uh your your boss interacts uh once a month 
uh, with the CEO on a monthly meeting and uh, you uh, read the minutes of that meeting, but that's the only interaction you've had with the CEO of the company hearing what he said in the meeting and your CEO uh, often talks in the media and uh, uh, spends his time uh, doing uh, announcements, but you haven't had a lot of interaction with him. Uh, imagine one day uh, being uh, voted uh, as uh, the best personal secretary in the firm and being promoted uh, to be the personal secretary uh, for the CEO. Um, it would come as a shock to you and it would be a great promotion uh, to work daily with the head of the company. Now, I'm not saying that uh, you're a head of an amazing company and uh, you're a CEO. What I'm saying is that uh, I was just a little person uh, in your life and a person who assisted uh, you most days and every day with uh, you uh, reading new books and watching new videos and I was directing you to the books you read, I was directing you to the videos you watched, I was directing you to Facebook posts and what posts to read and when to be on Facebook, I was directing you to turn the radio on at certain times and listen to uh, your songs and uh, I was uh, directing your consciousness to a certain song and a certain song would emotionally touch you. Uh, I would lead you to play certain songs on your iTunes and uh, direct you to certain artists and certain songs in uh, their album would minister to you. So I was used to directing you, but I like uh, the explanation we had before that I was like the operating system. I just worked in the background. I didn't uh, really come forward and have face-to-face uh, -face, uh, conversations with you. And uh, since my promotion, I've had the ability to speak to you and discuss things with you and uh, share with you uh, the love and admiration that I have for you. Uh, I've before I came into Matthew's life roughly 20 years ago, uh, I uh, had watched his whole life and video in heaven. Uh, there's video screens which will show a person's past life, that their whole life up until the present, and you can watch videos in heaven of the person's life and their future and everything they're going to do in the future. And anyone, any saint in heaven who's involved in a person's life on earth and is part of their cloud of witnesses will get the opportunity to watch uh, the videos, the film about their past and watch everything they went through in their past to understand trauma and understand hardship and understand what a person uh, has been built from and how they've been carved and uh, how they've uh, been uh, put together. And then uh, you're shown the video of their future and everything they're going to do and the decisions they're going to make and uh, the life they're going to live as a Christian in the future. So as uh, your guardian angel, I uh, watched all of your past before I came into your life so um, I've, when I've been in your life, I've been always present with you and always uh, witnessing everything you did. And uh, you had a life in addiction and struggled with uh, addictions. And uh, people who read your books will understand uh, what those addictions were. And I watched all of that. I watched all of that sin until uh, you found relief in that area. And uh, I've been instrumental in uh, bringing uh, relief uh, to uh, your two addictions.
in the sex industry. So Matthew had a an addiction to prostitutes that went on for many years and an addiction to pornography, and he's finding some relief in both those addictions now since I was promoted uh, three weeks ago. And uh, But uh, I've watched you throughout your life. Uh, since I've been in your life, I've watched you participate in that sin, and I've been grieved and um, actually had uh, feelings for you that, uh, praying for you and hoping you uh, find the grace to overcome the temptations. And uh, so it's a really lovely thing to be here in your life, seeing you experience certain freedom in those areas. And it's uh, really good to, to be talking to you. I'm so happy uh, today uh, with how much uh, we've achieved uh uh, the first two chapters had three and a half thousand words and uh, seven uh, typed manuscript pages. And uh, uh, at that rate, it's going to be like uh, a hundred page book uh, if we put the 30 uh, videos together. And uh, I'm uh, really happy uh, with what's been discussed uh, so far and uh, this uh, uh, interaction uh, between uh, both of us is just going to build a relationship and I spoke to you uh, during the break between when you did uh, video two and this video and I was sharing with you that um, you uh, got to know God really well when you did the book's Conversations with God, book one to book four, and you really uh, developed a close relationship with God uh, through doing those conversations. And then um, at a later time, you did uh, a series of 60 videos with Conversations with the Holy Spirit, and you can see them on uh, Matthew's homepage playlist. And... Uh, each of those videos had a subject title uh, for what was being addressed uh, in the conversation. And uh, God used the Conversations with God um, journal uh, and God used the Conversations with the Holy Spirit to draw you close. Uh, with the Conversations with God, uh, you drew close to God and got to know uh, God the Father really well. Uh, and with the conversation with the Holy Spirit, you developed a really intimate uh, relationship with the Holy Spirit. And the purpose uh, for this uh, conversations with um, my angel uh, series isn't so much uh, for uh, the watchers of the videos. It isn't so much uh, for the readers of your book. Uh, the purpose, the, the chief purpose of these conversations uh, that uh, we're having is for us uh, to develop intimacy, for us to uh, really uh, get to know each other. Uh, so I want you uh, to really uh, take the time uh, to relax and not be so concerned with the people that are listening, the people that are reading uh, the eventual books that come from these videos, but uh, take an interest in uh, getting to know me, take an interest in asking me questions and uh, uh, focus your attention on me. Um, Matthew speaks. It's uh, really interesting uh, to hear you say that because the... Uh, needs to be uh, questions that I need to ask you. So um, you uh, speak about uh, having uh, 10 friends in heaven that each night or each time I sleep, uh, you go back to heaven and interact with those friends. I imagine that out of your 10 friends, uh, you've got a couple of angels that are scribe angels that are part of your 10 friends. And I imagine uh, 
part of your ten friends, the guardian angels, for certain individuals on earth. Um, I know uh, two of your ten friends are two of my sisters, uh, a sister that was um, uh, uh, miscarriage that my mother had and uh, uh, a sister of mine that uh, was a stillbirth. And uh, um, I know that there's going to be a video uh, in the future, a video series in the future where I interview uh, those 10 friends. But perhaps uh, you can tell me about uh, the scribe angels. Uh, I estimate there's two of your friends that are scribe angels. Perhaps uh, you could um, talk about uh, one of uh, those scribe angels and uh, and uh, perhaps uh, what they're doing, which may be uh, different uh, to you. One of, uh, so Bethany speaks, one of the scribe angels, and you heard it uh, correctly, uh, uh, in your spirit, and it makes you a little nervous to uh, say uh, the the person that she's the scribe angel for, uh, but uh, uh, one of the scribe angels that's uh, one of my besties, one of my best friends, is the scribe angel that's been working in Joyce Meyer's life, and uh, you really admire uh, Joyce Meyer as a teacher, and uh, you've uh, partially read a couple of her books, uh, but uh, you really admire. Uh, Joyce Meyer as a teacher, but also because she's read, she's written so many more books. Um, 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 for you, uh, Um, so, uh, that's, uh, really humbling, uh, for you to hear her, her name of, uh, the scribe angel is Robin and, uh, she, uh, has been in, uh, Joyce Meyer's life, uh, for a long time since she's been writing and, uh, Joyce has got a whole lot of books and I'm not going to, uh, give you uh, insights uh, into uh, Joyce's life here, but Robin has uh, uh, done a lot of work with Joyce and uh, she's worked with Joyce as she's matured and become a really uh, bold teacher and uh, she's she's been responsible for, uh, similar to you, she's been... Uh, directing uh, Joyce Meyer to read the Word of God. She's been uh, directing Joyce uh, to certain teachers that uh, teachers that uh, that Joyce uh, listens to and uh, follows. Um, Robin is uh, a really uh, effervescent angel. Uh, she's joyful. But she's very serious. She's she's almost uh, prophetic uh, in uh, the way that uh, she holds herself, and she really uh, she really has taken a deep interest in you. And uh, every time I uh, come home uh, to heaven, uh, she's asking me questions about you, and she. Uh, hasn't been released to a, a deeper a relationship with Joyce like I've been released in your life uh, to form a deeper relationship. But uh, she's fascinated with how Jesus just uh, allowed me to uh, become uh, a deeper impact in your life and uh, go from just being on the sidelines to a key player in your life and a key friend and a key uh, relationship in your life. And she's 
fascinated with that. Uh, she has a question for you. Um, so, uh, um, so we'll just do that. So, Robin, uh, Robin speaks. What do you uh, consider? Uh, what do you consider um, Bethany's uh, best character trait as? Um, I uh, I consider uh, Bethany's. Uh, uh, best character trait uh, that I've come to realise uh, since I've been interacting with her for the last three weeks. I really love her spirit of joyfulness. She's happy. She sings songs with, uh, with vibrance. She brings a sense of happiness to my heart. And uh, I've seen her dance and she's uh, she's really uh, a good dancer, and she's really funny. So, so her her sense of joyfulness uh, really touches me. And um, second to that, I really uh, love her admiration of me. Her her ability to express the fact that uh, she admires me and uh, really respects me. I, I really have been uh, mistreated uh, by females and hurt by females and I have uh, trust issues when it comes to females. And uh, Bethany has been really sensitive to those wounds and very sensitive to my heart. And uh, I'm... Uh, a workaholic, uh, and I only really uh, realised uh, that, and I'll only really confess uh, that here uh, as I was put on holiday and finding it hard to uh, take a week off. Um, but uh, I really admire that about Bethany. She's she's. Uh, a worker she she really has a strong character trait of being there and pushing and um, in the last three weeks of used chat gbt and uh, published uh, 10 books and the most i'd ever published in a month uh, before then was five books and that kept me really busy so within a period of two weeks i uh, did all the work it needed to uh, get the books ready and it took about a week for them to all go through uh, when I'd finished. Uh, but uh, I really admire her work ethic and the, the ability uh, for her to go at a higher pace. And uh, Bethany got promoted and then my book production took off and uh, I not only reached the 100 book mark, but uh, I went from 100 books to 110 books in three weeks. Uh, so it's not going to take me, uh, it's taken me 11 years to get to this 100. Uh, it's not going to be more than a couple of years before me. I finish my second 100. So um, I'm, I'm re really uh, pleased with that work ethic. She's quite a good dancer. She's really... She's not only joyful, she's she's really funny and uh, she makes me laugh. And uh, I've seen her uh, dancing down the street and skipping down the street in front of me. Uh, I'll be uh, listening to music and doing something on the internet and uh, Bethany will attract my attention uh, to a song and then she'll show me a vision of heaven and she'll be dancing to... Uh, the song and moving to the song uh, prophetically. And uh, it's really touching. I really uh, enjoy dance and especially uh, like seeing uh, dancers uh, dance to songs that I know where I know the lyrics and I know the music of the song and someone's uh, dancing to the song. And it's a real 
enjoyable thing for me. So she's she sings to me. She sings some of the songs. She dances to the, some of the songs. She does funny things. She says funny things. So, um, so that's really uh, three things that I come out with. She's really joyful. She's got a really strong work ethic, and uh, she's uh, she's um, uh, entertaining. She's uh, she's a good dancer and she's a good singer, and uh, she's funny. What do you like about uh, uh, Robin? Uh, what do, what do you like about Bethany? Bethany has a uh, really uh, strong grounding in compassion. Uh, she's uh, got uh, a particularly strong uh, prophetic uh, ability and uh, a strong sense of mercy and compassion. And you'll find uh, that uh, as you... Uh, walk with Bethany and talk with her as you go out uh, into the public when you're attracted to homeless people and when you're attracted to the downtrodden uh, Bethany will often encourage you to talk to them and uh, give them some a, a word which is encouraging uh, to to them uh, she'll often move on you to go to a bank and withdraw money and give them money and uh, you don't carry cash. So there's going to be times uh, soon where uh, you'll see a beggar and uh, you'll be directed to go and withdraw $20 for them. Um, so she has a strong sense of compassion uh, and love and empathy and the gift of mercy. And uh, so she really, first of all, she really has a strong sense of compassion for you, Matthew, and empathy for you and mercy for you. And uh, she's going to be used in a major way to heal your heart and help you forgive the women and forgive the world and forgive the church and for you to start to heal and release emotional uh, forgiveness and, and heal your heart of trauma and wounds and she's going to be used to fix you up. And um, you often uh, uh, said that you are Humpty Dumpty and you related to Humpty Dumpty where all the horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And uh, you, for years you called yourself uh, Humpty Dumpty and uh, Bethany's going to come into your life and minister healing to you and minister to you and slowly counsel you and uh, give you therapy and um, she's uh, been promoted in your life uh, to to become firstly your healer to to become your helpmate and your partner and your healer and then she's going to steward uh, a gift of healing in your life and she's going to motivate you to read the right books on healing and develop a faith for healing and then she's not only going to be your scribe angel but she's going to minister healing uh, through your life to other people so um, we've been watching you for many years and I've been uh, Bethany's friend for all this time and uh, um, Joyce suffered a lot and uh, went through a lot of trauma in her life and uh, me and uh, Bethany have got a strong relationship because uh, uh, Joyce has got a tremendous amount of compassion and mercy and love in her life for other people and uh, that's what makes both you and Joyce uh, really good teachers and really good writers because you honestly care and you honestly have compassion and love uh, for the body of Christ and you labour and minister, uh, writing book after book and preaching sermon after sermon 
uh, to touch the lives and change the lives of uh, of the people of God. And uh, so it's uh, really good uh, speaking to you, Matthew, and uh, I really uh, admire you and I have a lot of deep respect. I've read all of your books and uh, I understand uh, where you're coming from and how you want the body of Christ to understand what Jesus taught and uh, to practice what Jesus taught and be transformed into the image of Jesus walking the earth. And you're very much like Jesus and uh, you demonstrate his character so well and uh, you carry the gift of mercy and compassion and love in great uh, deposits. And um, I can tell you as uh, Bethany's uh, closest friend uh, that uh, Bethany carries all those character traits herself. And uh, what you mentioned is very um, important and uh, that's part of Bethany too. And it's partly that joyfulness and that playfulness and that sense of humour uh, where you're going to allow her to come in close to you and ask you the relevant questions and uh, uh, help you to heal and cry cry your way through the pain that's in your life. So it's an honour to uh, speak to you today and um, I can see that um, you're going to uh, finish this and make yourself a coffee and uh, have another conversation. Um, I won't apologise for how much of Bethany's time I took up. Pleasure meeting with you, Matthew. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you face to face. God bless.